Campbell, a space to debate, study and celebrate architecture. On the, on the Jade Eco Park. So um, I will present uh, now the, this project. So it was a, an open competition in Taiwan. Uh, so we apply uh, with uh, Catherine Bosbar, a landscape designer from France. And uh, so it was completely open at the beginning and then they select five teams. Uh, and then we group with a Ricky Liu architect from Taiwan. And so we are three co-tenders for this competition, and we won uh, the competition at the end of 2011. Uh, so the park is a 70 hectare park, so it's quite big. It's a site of uh, old airport. Uh, so Taiwan is a, a subtropical uh, climate, so it's uh, the, um, an island. Uh, and uh, Taishung, the city where we are building this park, is in the middle of uh, Taiwan. Uh, the site is an old airport, it's 250 uh, hectares. And, uh, and the project of... Uh, yeah, uh, there is a lot of image, so we will move very quickly, so... Uh, yes. So... Yeah, so this, it was a master plan from the Stan Allen. It was made uh, in 2009. And uh, so the, the, the big idea uh, is to have this uh, central park in the center of this new district. And, um, and so it, it is a public commission. So the, the client is a government of Taishung. And, um, and so the park is in the, in the center. And then there is some uh, residential building, uh, office building, and st also some public space, so public building. Uh, so yes, next one. So we see the size of the park. So it starts from here, and it's uh, finished uh, here. Uh, after, so the park was the first uh, competition. And then after that, there is another competition uh, for a tower. It was won by Su Fujimoto. And after that, there is a, also a library competition on the north of the park that was won by Sana Sejima. Uh, yes, so the image. This was a Su Fujimoto Tower. Yes. And uh, so our site was this, all this size. And uh, so this is some image of the detailed design. It's very strange for me not to have my own <laughs> <laughs> mouse. <laughs> yes. yeah. OK. Uh, with Catherine Mosba, we work uh, on a very clear way uh, on the project. So it was like we were in charge of the atmosphere. She was in charge of the lithosphere. But we have some exchange uh, on that. And, um, and so um, uh, and, and so the idea was, yes, to, to work on these two um, two level of, um, of, of the, on the project. So when we start uh, the competition, um, I came back to the idea why we need a park in the city. And, uh, and so the, maybe we have forget why we built park in the city. In reality, the, the first park was built in uh, London in 1835. And, um, and um, it's a Victoria Park in London. And it, in reality, it was, a, it was a request from the citizen because um, it was in East London. And uh, just uh, five years before, or two years before, uh, reports show that the people uh, near park have 10 years more year of life than the people without park. It was. Uh, the, the, the report on death, uh, marriage, and, um, and birth. And it showed that in Bath, for example, uh, the city of Bath, people, there is some park, and, and uh, so the, uh, the duration of life the, the, was 10 years more. And, uh, and so they, they, the people from London start to complain about that. And they say 30,000 people uh, send a letter to the Queen 
to ask for a park in, in London. And so it was the opening of the, of the um, Victoria Park, and it was completely based on pollution to clean the air. It was really this idea uh, that would take Olmsted and uh, Alfa in Paris, uh, so all the park of the 19th century uh, were based on this idea to clean the air of the city. It was uh, the idea of green lug, so the, the, the air, the polluted air from the city arrive in the park, it's cleaned there, and some new, fresh and clean air go out. So we have completely forgot this idea because we think it's uh, for some other reason, but the reality at this time was that, because uh, um, there, there is some epidemic of cholera and then tuberculosis, so it was a real deal because there is no antibiotic, and so people really die uh, in the city. So. Uh, so it was quite interesting for us to rethink about that, but the, there is another issue. It was um, to cool the city, and we also, when you read Alpha, the landscape designer of uh, Osman, he explained that um, that the, uh, to create a park is also to give to people some fresh area inside the city for cool themselves when it's too warm during the summer. And it was the same idea for the trees, why there is some trees on the boulevard. It's not to create a romantic uh, nature inside the city, it's not to, to have green into the gray, it's really just to create a shadow, uh, to cool the people under. Uh, so, and we are also, myself, I forget this uh, original idea of, uh, of why there is trees in the, tr in the street. And also, sometimes in Paris, also they forget that, because we can see, for example, we are living in the Rue Rambuteau, and there just be a, two years ago a line of uh, trees, and it's on the south side of the street, so there is no shadow because it's already on the shadow of the street, so they don't understand the, the, um, the reason why we have uh, trees to, uh, to cut the uh, ray of light. So, but it was the uh, original idea of the, of the trees. And, uh, and so, uh, and, and so from this original idea of the park, we start to think in Taiwan, uh, it's very, uh, it's a subtropical climate, so it's uh, warm, humid, and like every city today, it's a polluted city too. And uh, when I was asking to some people, Taiwanese people, what they think about the park in Taiwan, uh, some of them say we don't like to go in park, it's too yummy, there is too much mosquitoes, uh, we prefer to go in shopping mall. Uh, so it, uh, it was, a, and, and so we start to say, okay, maybe we need to create a park uh, based on, on something about the climate, so it means uh, to cool, maybe to dry, and maybe to clean, because this is, a, this is like the fundamental issue about the, the climate there and, uh, and the site. So, um, so this is uh, this three uh, body like something about heat and and uh, the and something about uh, humidity and pollution, and we uh, so we uh, go to the next one. So next one, there is some heavy. Um, yeah. Okay, don't, don't move. Okay, uh, so so we start to to work on different layer. We say okay, we need to cool, uh, and then we will dry, and then we will uh, uh, we will do something for pollution. But we work on three different uh, uh, layers, completely independently. So first, uh, for cooling, we start to, uh, to understand how we can cool the space. And uh, f so for cooling, there is a, the engineer explained us uh, that there is in, in, in reality different type of uh, what they call perceived temperature. So because if you feel warm, uh, it's linked to the temperature of the air but it's also linked to the humidity of the air, it's also linked to the movement of the air, if there is wind or not, it's linked to the direction, and it's linked also to the uh, opening of the sky. So this is like the, uh, all the parameters that all together create this uh, perceived temperature. So uh, of course, if it is very warm, if you have wind uh, that remove like, uh, like um, blowing on the soup, uh, when it's too warm, it's cool, uh, the, the thing. So it's one parameter. And on the side, 
uh, everywhere it's the same temperature, but there is one factor that is not the same, is the wind, because there is, uh, you could see that there is some north wind that come there. Uh, and also during the summer, during the summer there is some south wind that is warm, uh, uh, but still during the, this is like the July and August, and we could see that sometimes there is this north wind, because something important for the wind, uh, the north, the wind that comes from the north is a cooling wind, because uh, under 34 degrees Celsius, um, it's still cooling, but if the wind, is, the temperature of the wind is higher than 34 degrees Celsius, it doesn't cool, it's like an um, air dryer, so it's uh, it reinforce the heat. So it's why in uh, Qatar, for example, you cannot use the wind for cooling because it's already warm and so there is no cooling effect. But here we have this north wind, so that, that is a cold wind, so we could use this movement to f remove the heat uh, there. So. We, so we, we start from this parameter, so next one. And we work with an uh, engineer, with uh, Transolar, a German company, for doing uh, the master plan. So it was like um, a model of the future of the district with all the new building. And we analyze where, in red, where, the, where it's more windy and it's blue where it's less windy. And uh, so it create a map and so the master plan directly came from this uh, CFD model, so computational fluid dynamics, so it's a movement uh, of the wind on site. And from this, we start to create the first master plan by creating this map that are in a gradation from the, we say, okay, maybe in the red area, it will be when there is some wind, it will be a little more comfortable because you have more, it's more windy and it's the blue, there is, uh, it's less windy. There is some seat if you want to st go. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Uh, and, uh, and so we, we did this, uh, uh, we, from this climate analyze, we created the, the first uh, map. And so in red, we say it's a little uh, cooler and in, in white, it's warmer. So it's like a, and then from, th from this analyze, we reinforce that by placing a lot of trees. Uh, so this is all the dot, the next one. So this is all the, we add trees uh, to reinforce that because we say, okay, it's already windy, so we will create shadow that will reinforce the cooling effect there. And where it's warm, we let as it is, you know, we, we accept that it's already warm and we let uh, like that. And then, so this is, this one is a cooling tree, and then we have the climate devices, this was all these dots here. I will show, explain uh, this uh, climatic devices because it became the most uh, uh, critical point of the project. And, um, and then after that we say, uh, we place the black dots here are the, the activities, the equipment. So we say uh, all the leisure activity will find their place uh, there because it will be the most comfortable. We have to understand that in Taiwan it's, uh, it's a warm uh, climate and also, for, for example, in winter, uh, um, uh, the, in December, it's like 20 degrees or 18 degrees Celsius. So it's never very cold and uh, it can be, um, and it can be warm. But Taishung is also, a, Cool is cooler than Taipei, so okay. so sometimes when you say Taishung is is warm, so they say they say no, it's not true because uh, 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 it's it's the coolest city of Taishung of uh, Taiwan. So so, but it's a, a subtropical climate, and uh, and so if we understand the process of the design, so it's first we map the climate and then we find the shape and the form, and then we find the function. So it's why uh, it's a lift, uh, the idea is not form follow climate, uh, it's not form follow function or follow like the modern uh, um, idea, or it's not a, a function follow form like the postmodern idea, but it's become a form and function follow climate because first we design the climate and then we have the form and then we have the function that find place in it there. Uh, so next one. Uh, for the water is a huge 
um, very important uh, topic and it was also made by uh, Catherine Mosbach. She was very involved in this, uh, in, in this um, uh, part because uh, all the new district, uh, the 250 hectares, uh, all the rainwater, so sometimes there is some uh, very uh, typhoon and very strong water and uh, so it's uh, very rainy. Uh, and so all the water arrive and the park will become the, the reservoir for all the city, that all the water from the city arrive on the park and have to slow down inside the park. So it becomes the, like, the, like a delay of, uh, of w watering. And, uh, and so uh, we have created a, a topography of hills, small mountain, valley, and uh, that are only bound to to um, that receive the water so this is normally all, normally it's completely dry and but very often there is rain so it's become like that and sometimes there is more rain and sometimes uh, one uh, one by uh, century for example it could be full of water like that so uh, and all the all the um, the, the blue part are whole so that create a topography uh, in order to to block the water uh, um, that go, uh, that arrive there, and it's quite uh, you know because there is a, a very small slope in all the park, so it means first the water arrives there, and then it fills the, the lake, and then it arrives to, to another one and move down. So it's a it's a big uh, system like that. So next one, and so from that we also map. Uh, where it's more dry and more uh, humid and we reinforce that by placing uh, drying trees, so next one, and drying devices and we say because when it's drier, when the air is drier, you could sweat more uh, because uh, if it is very humid you could no more sweat so it's why uh, the, we say that the humid warm climate is less comfortable than the dry uh, warm climate because uh, by sweating you evacuate the heat coming from the body so you could uh, and, and so we say okay all the sport activity can be there because you could sweat more and we place the uh, black dots uh, there so next one and the last layer is uh, on pollution and uh, so we have big roads that uh, are in white there and um, so uh, with noise and pollution and so far from the road uh, in black uh, in dark uh, it become the cleanest uh, area uh, and we always have this kind of gradation so uh, from um, from the noisy area to the more uh, quiet uh, area and we reinforce that by placing trees so next one uh, to uh, to absorb the sound, to absorb the pollution, and also, or after that, all the uh, the children activity. Uh, the, um, we can see here uh, the black dots uh, find place in this quiet and and uh, less polluted area. So next one, and so all together, it's overlap, and it creates a diversity of climate. So it means. Uh, there it can be some area can be polluted, uh, cool and humid, but some other could be polluted, uh, dry and warm. Uh, so there is a lot of di diversity, and it's quite it's very important to understand that because uh, because this is not a modernist idea, a modernist project that say this is good and this is bad. We have a gradation from bad, maybe you think it's bad, but I think it's good, and you think it's bad. Enfin, you have a, you you are free to decide where you want to go, and also um, what is important is um, that uh, maybe uh, in, in in July at noon you want to go in the forest where it's very cool, but maybe in December at 6 p.m. you prefer to go in an open field where it's more warm. So it's uh, create a diversity of uh, of climate that uh, everybody are free to decide where they want to to go. So next one. Don't don't move. It's uh, okay. So uh, it, uh, this was a section, so with this three layer, and we were completely independent with this uh, three layer. So next one. 
And then we, give, uh, we gave some identity of uh, the, the area where it's more, um, uh, more uh, where there is more um, um, uh, cooling effect or drying effect or depositing effect. Uh, by calling them, we give it, uh, the, uh, we call the clearia. So the, the clearia are, are the most clean area, and the coolia are the most cool area, and the drya are the most dry area. And we give, uh, we have gave given name like uh, America or Australia. So it's like the drya or the clearia, and a little like in the Lord of the Rings. So we have the middle coolia or the northern clearia, and so the identity came from. Uh, this uh, from that. So next one. Uh, next one. And then uh, we create the three main paths are connecting uh, all the drya or all the coolia or all the kiria together. And uh, so it's like an iso, iso bar uh, uh, pass. And so you could walk in the most coolest area by following the red uh, path, you, in the l less polluted area by following the gray path, and uh, going in the less dry, uh, humid area by following the dry path. Uh, and also we give some uh, function to that, so the, the, the clean path that connect all the clear area um, are for children, so for baby car it's really flat, and also for wheelchair, uh, so it's a very flat uh, um, path. The red one, the, the cool path, have a very small slope, so it's for leisure, it's uh, quite a simple promenade. And the blue is uh, more difficult, uh, it's for sport players, so it's uh, go to the top of the hill and go down, and so it's, uh, you need to be more uh, a sport player to take the blue uh, the blue one. So it's like three types of uh, moving through the, the path. So next one. And then we have, uh, for planting the trees, uh, we have three uh, type of strategies. So uh, uh, we have one square way of planting the cooling trees. It was more a random strategy for the drying trees and more like, a, um, like this type of uh, script uh, uh, way of uh, of planting the trees, and I will, uh, and it's also uh, always working by gradation, so it's very dense inside, and it becomes less dense when uh, it's arrived to the warm area. So next one. So this is uh, some image today. Uh, so the opening will be uh, in uh, in July 2018, and so here we have uh, we are in the middle of the park. And so there, at the end, from one side and the other side is the other one. So next. Here we can see, for example, the, the cool pass in red that is uh, going there. This one is a clean pass. And there is a connection of the landscape everywhere, but um, so you could move. Uh, there is some street that goes through, and the landscape go um, like bridge and uh, uh, on the on that. Next one. Next one. Here we can see, for example, the sport pass and the, the dry pass. That is, you go to the top and you go down after. Okay, yeah, so yeah, it's really, it's not, it's, uh, it's like one third of the park here from here to the city, so it's huge. Yeah. So next one. Next one. Okay, we have, uh, this, I think it's the last one. You, uh, we have to close. So now I will uh, present the, the cooling strategy. So this is what I explained first with a mapping of the climate and then the form following the climate and then uh, the dots uh, that reinforce um, 
the, the map by uh, all the mapping, uh, the planting of the trees. Next one. With the northern coolia, western coolia, so this is where it's more dense. So this is like the, and this is a strategy uh, of the climatic devices. So we can see it's very dense. So the trees is like every uh, uh, two meter, three meter, two two point half meter. So uh, where it's very dense and it become less dense. And uh, so this is like following the the trees. And sometime, if you continue. Sometimes we have these uh, climatic devices, uh, these uh, man-made climatic devices that have a uh, size of the trees that arrive inside the system, and so it's like turning like that. You could continue. Yes. Uh, continue, yeah. Next one. So here we can see, so like all the dots here are, are tr trees uh, and some devices arrive inside the and then after that the, the program that arrive inside and the type of the trees so I have to say that we have some change uh, in 2014 because there is a change of government so some document here are uh, the um, the, uh, the detailed design uh, that was the, the beginning of the construction and uh, because the type of trees or, or uh, some, uh, there is some change from that but the original idea was to have uh, but it's, still the, it's still the same idea but it's to have the trees uh, uh, selected to, to have uh, the most powerful cooling effect so we choose the next one uh, so we choose uh, 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 trees with, for example, big leaf, or with a lot of leaves, or with the white leaf, or with evaporating effect. So in order to reinforce the cooling effect uh, of the trees. So next one. So uh, so um, and to create the, the one cool year, one what we call the cool lands, uh, we have one type of trees like uh, it's 80% uh, in the middle and then it's less and less so it gives an identity based on one uh, cooling effect. Next one. And then we have these uh, first uh, cooling devices and the cooling devices are made, some of them are uh, uh, blowing air so it's uh, cooling by convection, some of them are cooling by evaporation, by, by, uh, uh, by water some other are cooling by blocking the radiation. So we try to find all the way to all the type of uh, cooling. So next one. So this is how we can cool. So cool by low, lowering the temperature of the air, cooling by, by moving the air, cooling by filtering the, the light. So this is like a decomposition of the different strategy of uh, cooling. So next one. Next one. Next one, next one. So here it was just to see when uh, the cooling effect can be when it's too warm in Taishung. Okay, next one, next one, next one. Uh, next one, next, next, next one. Next. So here, this is uh, one way of cooling by blowing air, cold air. So the strategy, we, we did some uh, measurement on site, and uh, we can find that, uh, yeah, I don't remember exactly, but it was like 32 degrees Celsius outside. Uh, um, and by going down underground, we find that five meter underground, we have 25 degrees Celsius. So by using like a geothermal duct, by blowing air underground, moving underground, so there is a cooling effect and then it could go out and, uh, and we could blow cold air, uh, um, that is. And all the energy in this project is provided by green energy, so it means the electricity is made by 7,000 square meter of photovoltaic panel on the north. It's a kind of canopy here on the, that produces all the electricity for the fan or for the lighting or for the building. 
uh, there and by geothermal cooling. So this means there is no carbon and there is no nuclear, uh, so it's only uh, green energy uh, that is used inside a project. So next one, next one, next one, next one. So this is like the blowing air devices, next one, next one. Next one, next one. And this one is uh, first, uh, the, we call it uh, anti-cyclone. So we made some uh, calculation with our engineer to understand the quantity of air, the speed of air, the, the size of air um, inside the duct in order to have a certain effect in, uh, in the, in the, on the outdoor condition with a different type of wind, different type of humidity and air. So this is uh, all the calculation. Yeah. And uh, so at the end, we can uh, give a dimension to the all the duct and uh, there, next one. Uh, next one. Uh, next one. So the system is to take the air from outside to move down and to go down and to then to blow there. Next one. Uh, next one. So it was like we have one uh, climatic plant where that uh, have all the machines that are in a safety uh, uh, location and with uh, easy maintenance and uh, protected from the flood. Flood, and then we have underground that we could see this. Uh, um, this uh, the, the dot line here, and that go to the devices. Yes, next one, 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 next, next one, next one, next. Next, yeah. So here we go down, yes. Yeah. Next, yeah. Yes, so this is like the anticyclone. So this is a um, device after that, next one, next. Next, 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 yes, next one, next one, next one, so, next one, yeah, next, next one, next one, next one, next, so, next one, yeah, next one, so here we see the pipe that go underground, yes. And next. And here it's moved, it's covered with concrete, but the, the cooling effect is still there. Next one. And then the pipe go out. Next. And then Yes, so the ground come back, and then the legs. Next. Okay. <coughs> Next one. Yeah, you could. And uh, so the, uh, the calculation we made with the engineer was exactly what we get at the end. So it's uh, with the quantity of air, the speed of air. Can continue. So another uh, device based on uh, evaporation. So it's uh, cooling by, if you add some water inside the air, if uh, uh, so there is uh, evaporation of the droplet of uh, water and by 
changing of phase from liquid to gas, it takes the air energy from the air, and so it cool, uh, it decreases the uh, temperature there. So this is what happens when there is a fountain in Morocco or in Spain. You feel the freshness by uh, near the fountain because uh, there is this change of phase. So this is some um, um, we, some cloud that are there. You can go next one. And so next one. So this is uh, some very common uh, techniques. And the water in Taiwan, there is no limestone, so it's uh, not uh, this problem of in the duct. Of Next one. 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 Yes. You can continue. And uh, another one for um, for uh, based on the, on radiation. Uh, next one. Uh, next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. So th this one is uh, we call the the cold uh, the cold light. And what is interesting, this is um, the um, spectrum of, of the sunlight. So there is a visible part uh, in the center and then the infrared there. And if you look carefully to the color, uh, the visible color, you can see that the violet one is a less, there is less energy in the violet color than in the green or the blue one. And uh, so next one. Yeah, we, we can see. So it means that the violet is the coldest part of the light, of the sunlight. So what we did is very simple. We just block all the wavelengths except the violet one that is like the coldest um, part of the sunlight that goes through. So this is like uh, blocking the one uh, and letting only the cold, uh, the cold light. Yes. Next one. Next one. Next one. Okay. Yeah, we can continue. This is another. It's called the moonlight. Next one. And here we have this uh, the pass with this uh, with this bench that are normal bench with a normal high. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one, next one, next one, next one, next one. Uh, maybe this is the end. Uh, I know. Yeah, this is the end. So. Uh, the second layer is humidity. I will go quickly on that. Uh, so the next one. OK, so it was uh, linked to the humidity. It's based on the pond and the lake and the uh, kind of uh, uh, more humid uh, wind coming from the sea. And so we have this dry land, the North Korea, so you can Continue like that. 
So it was more like a random strategy, but it's all, it's all way like a gradation. So it's more very full of trees at some part, and then more far from the the middle, it's, uh, there is less uh, trees. Uh, so just um, maybe you can see uh, on the photo, you will see that uh, when we have the dryer, for example, we change, okay, we have some drying trees uh, with uh, floating roots that absorb the humidity, and also we change the type of ground uh, when you enter the dryer, so we, ha we have some drying uh, material for the ground so that absorb the humidity and uh, very, um, with high drainage material, so this is like this type in this area. So when you look to the photo, you could see some change of ground that are based on this uh, type. And we have the same for the cooling ground, uh, that are cooling ground and also for the depolluting uh, um, ground that have also some uh, specific quality. So this is this. Uh, next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next. Next one. So here yeah, the bench are more, uh, so we have another type of bench, like uh, just to sit, uh, you, uh, like by doing sports, or you just take some rest by, uh, but like that. Next one. So it's like sport bench, next one. And this was uh, like the drying devices. Next one. Uh, so the desert wind was blowing dry air. Next one. 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 Okay. We can continue. Next one. And we will see, uh, so the lighting also, we have different type of lighting. So when you enter the dryer or the coolia or the uh, clearia, so the, the, the quantity of light uh, grow, so the distance in between the light grow. And uh, and the last layer is uh, depolluting layers, uh, the clean layers, next one. So we have this, uh, the, the four clearia, next one, and the clean pass that connects, uh, so this is very, this very flat uh, uh, pass, and all the, the depolluting plants, so this is plants, uh, the, some leaf with a lot of hair that catch the, the dust inside or cleaning uh, some uh, gas pollution, and also trees with a big, big trunk or um, post trunk that block the, the, the noise. Yes. Next one. And this is some strategy of uh, planting the trees. So it's very dense there in the middle and it's become less dense. Uh, next one. So here we see the next uh, Yeah. Uh, next, uh, but we see the different type of ground also for cleaning ground. Next one. And this was the cleaning devices, the clean, the, the depolluting devices. Next one. So, next. 
Um, so m maybe if you come back just to, but, uh, it was also before, before, yeah. So this device was blowing clean air. One was um, um, with um, ultrasound to to remove uh, to um, uh, against mosquitoes. Some were against uh, the noise. Some of them was to clean the air. And this type of uh, shelter was to blow the ultraviolet against uh, skin cancer. Or so this different type of, uh, yeah, next one, next one, yes. Next one. And the bench here are like a more uh, comfortable bench, a little, uh, the high is more like a sofa. And then we arrive to the building. We have a uh, different building inside, uh, inside uh, uh, the park. Uh, there is a visitor center. Uh, so the visitor center uh, is, um, next one, is made of uh, different layers. So the architecture, the strategy of uh, working on, the poly uh, on the humidity, uh, heat, and uh, pollution. So in reality, it's a little similar when in the contemporary way of building, uh, you have different layers of, um, for creating a wall. You have the thermal insulation, you have the waterproof layer, you have the, structure, the, the structural layers, you have the, uh, the physical layers. And so the way of doing the project is uh, sometimes all the layers are together and sometimes one is moving from the other uh, one. So, for example, the blue is a waterproof and, and uh, the first one is a grid, like a, like a physical barrier, and then there is a blue one inside. And when it's moved from the grid, so it creates a courtyard, and uh, then there is a thermal insulation, and when the corridor, for example, in between the or all the storage are in between the thermal insulation and the, um, the um, waterproof. And so it means it's more economical because we just have uh, uh, natural uh, ventilation in the blue uh, layers. And inside the red one, we have uh, air conditioning. So next one. And inside this building, we will have three uh, we call them uh, climatorium. So we have the cool, uh, the coolum, and the clarium. Next one. So the uh, so the uh, the jade mountain. So it will be in width and size. Uh, next one. We we have a uh, we we have sensor in on the mountain. So we we have the real time temperature, and then we change the temperature inside the space according to the uh, mountain temperature. And also the light will change uh, inside. The second one is a dry arm, and uh, the dry arm is about humidity. So the first one is about heat. The second one is about humidity. And uh, next one. And what we see here, in reality, the humidity is in um, sub subtropical climate, the humidity uh, the, in the air is high. So, but in November, December is slower. We can see the curve uh, come back before. We can see that uh, the curve go down. And it's why sometimes when if you visit a country with a, um, a tropical country, it's better to go in the autumn because there is less humidity in the air. So people say it's better to go there. So what we say that maybe the 21 of November is maybe a very 
comfortable space, a comfortable day in Taichung. So this, because the temperature is not so high, the humidity not so high. So this is like maybe the perfect day of Taichung. Like uh, maybe in uh, Paris, it is the 20th of May when it's not too cool, not too warm. So it's like, a, and so, uh, and this is one of the day with less humidity in the air. So we take the, um, the 21 and we repeat it like an endless uh, day. Uh, so when you enter the room, you enter the 21 of November and the light is turning with a, uh, following the angle of the, of the, uh, of the day, of the azimut and the angle of the sun. And, um, and so it's like, um, it will be like a glass floor and when you arrive on the top, uh, so if you come at midnight, you can see the sun down and uh, there. So next one. Uh, next one. Next one. And the last one is uh, the clearium. So here we reproduce the climate in Taishung in the real time, but without uh, global warming and without the uh, industrial warming, industrial uh, pollution. Next one. So. Uh, so we, we clean the air and we blow the air inside the space. Next one. And we cool also a little the air and because, uh, so the cold air is lower, uh, is heavier, so it's it go down. And uh, so it will be an open sky, uh, open, and, uh, but with a clean air and uh, a little uh, less warm uh, air. And also some research show that uh, because of the global warming, the quantity of water inside the, the quantity of cloud maybe will uh, be reduced because of the, of the, because um, the temperature become higher and um, the plants start to close their cell in order to keep the humidity inside um, the plant and there is less evapotranspiration, so it may, maybe there is less, so. So we also reproduce a little, some more cloudy days. Okay, next one. Next one. Next one. Next one, you could just, okay. Next one. Yeah, it just in the section, it's quite all this layer are really uh, built like that. So we have the grid, so the physical layer, and then the uh, waterproof layer that turn and then the thermal insulation that turn and then the structure so it's uh, the construction is made with these different layers that start next one to move so this is uh, like uh, three two months ago and three yeah and this is a uh, under construction like uh, one one month ago And then we have an intelligent system. Uh, next one. So every 50 meter, we have a sensor that uh, measure in real time the, the heat, the wind, the pollution, uh, the humidity of the air. Next one. Uh, this is another building. Next one. Next one. But this is for the uh, people that work in the park and all the machine and things like that. Next one. So this is a sensor here, and all the sensors arrive to this uh, building. Next one. The, all the information. Next one. And we have this, uh, this, this is a sensor. Yeah, we can see them. Next one. So, next one. So it gives in real time uh, information about um, uh, heat and humidity and pollution, and so it creates this map. So you you will have the, on the smartphone, you will have the real map of the temperature on site and humidity and pollution. So you could decide where you want to go following that. And we create an index from one to six, so very humid at six and we're very dry. So it, the computer always uh, 
create the real-time uh, data, and also the pollution index is uh, uh, we it's uh, linked to uh, noise, uh, to noise, to noise CO2, uh, PM 2.5, um, NOx, all this pollution. Next one, and uh, and then uh, just come back here. All uh, what I say that everything. This is like the 7,000 on the top. This is a 7,000 square meter of photovoltaic panel we have on the north. So this is the black area there. Next one. That produce all the electricity. Next one. Uh, and so it's created in a kind of canopy that cover the landscape and also a part. Here we can see under construction. We have one building that will be there. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next. Next one. So this is uh, okay. The system uh, originally, so all the the quantity of uh, electricity that is produced in real time. So we keep everything for the night, for the building, and for the lighting, and then the excess of that go on the on the fan to uh, start to move the air uh, on the devices. Next one. And also the logic was because when there is a lot of sun, so it means it's very warm, and so it produces a lot of electricity, so more devices can be on, because uh, so it's like a perfect match in between the, the quantity of sun and the quantity of energy you need for cooling. And this is a smartphone, yes, next one, next one. You can move. So you will get some information. Uh, yes, what I say in real time, the climate, the temperature. Uh, so you could de really decide, okay, you arrive in the park and you can see where you are and you could, could decide to go in the coldest part there. And you have information uh, on the pollution, the, the, the quantity of uh, PM 2.5 and then we, next one. Next one. For the lighting, uh, we have a general lighting based on the, on the biology for the on the night pollution or light pollution for the animals. So it means uh, the animals. The it's a little like the human. So um, uh, we we decrease. Next one, you can see. Next one, we decrease the color of the light, so it's more white on the street. And then it become more orange, and there is less light. So it's uh, for the animals also during the night. So there is no uh, uh, light pollution, and, uh, and and for the animal uh, also the yellow light is better. It's like um, uh, you know the during the evening when there is a sunset or sunrise, uh, the color become uh, yellow, and it's also linked to melatonin. And so we have this type of yes. next one. And this is the, uh, the past lighting, so it becomes very dense uh, when we, you enter the, the climatic lens. And toilet, we have uh, 12 big toilet in the park. And uh, come back. And so the strategy of the toilet is also like, um, uh, like layering the toilet. So it's first we have the ground, like uh, we change from the grass, uh, we arrive to a concrete ground, and then we have um, a layer of uh, speakers that will create um, uh, a music that cover the P uh, sound. So it will be like, like, um, uh, like, like a kind of um, noise barrier, and then we have a first intimacy barrier and another one of, and then the roof and then the other one and all the layers are not on the same location and uh, so it's um, so you move you first enter the building and then after you enter under the roof and after you enter inside uh, the other layers and uh, everything is always open so we don't close so the air the wind and everything could go everywhere inside the, 
toilet. Yes. Next one. Yeah. Next one. Next one. The next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. So it was under construction. Next one. So it, it means there is 11 building like this one. You can uh, come back. Uh, no. Yeah, like this one. So there is 11 building like that. Next one. Next one. Yeah, you can continue. And just I want to show two images uh, because we get some change. There is, a, as I said, there is a change of government uh, in 2014. So the construction of the park was already uh, has already started. So this is uh, some new development of the project. But I will present that when it will be open in one year. So uh, this is these two images of our next one or this one. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Campbell, a space to debate, study and celebrate architecture.